Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a new little series that I'm going to do. There's going to be a few parts to this. And today's video, if you've already seen it by the title, is a Tammy Hembro workout. So I decided to try out one of her booty workouts that she posted. This is one of three or four that I am going to be doing. I just figured that I would try them out, let you guys know what I think, and that way you guys can go ahead and give them a try. And if you want to grow a booty, then you know that's always another option. And that's always a good option is to look at what other people are doing and take ideas from them or whatnot and see if you guys want to try out their workouts. So I just figured that I would give this workout a try. I thought this would be fun to do, kind of try out her booty workouts that she has posted on her social media and let you guys know what I think of them, whether I think they're good or not. Again, this is all personal preference. I do do my own workouts, but it's sometimes nice to switch it up, especially if you've been feeling a little stuck with your workouts. It's always fun to try new things. So this workout is solely just focused on the glutes. There's really no quad or hamstring specific movements in this, which was kind of nice because I haven't been doing booty specific exercises. I have been focusing on myself and working on full lower body movements as a whole so I do try and target my glutes but these were just very glute specific exercises. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you guys are new to my channel or just happen to click on this video then welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and that little bell right there so you guys can get notified when I post more to this little series. If you guys want to see the next few parts of it then definitely hit that subscribe button so you guys get updated when that comes up. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, this is just me trying this out. I figured it'd be fun to try it out and record it and post it and let you guys know what I think of this video. So I will be going over the reps and the sets in this video, letting you know what I think over commentary. And yeah, I think that is all. So if you guys are ready, then let's just go ahead and get right into the video. All right guys, so to start off this workout, I did my own little warm up. So I always like to start off all of my workouts, my lower body workouts with kicks. So I just did 20 kicks on each side. It just gets my hamstrings and my calves and my butt cheeks a little warmed up and ready to go. Just makes me feel all stretched out and whatnot. And then jumping into what's next is I went ahead and just did some quad stretches, some lunges, um, Again, just some more stretches to really make sure that I felt all warm and ready to go. And then following that, I went ahead and did two sets of 10 reps of fire hydrants on each side. These are just activating the glutes and making sure that they're warmed up enough. So when we go into our workout, they're fully warmed and then we're getting our maximum results that we can instead of taking half of our workout to warm up our glutes. And I really like these because they really focus on warming up the glute as a whole. And then following that, I went ahead and did two sets of 15 donkey kickbacks. So again, same thing, just really focuses on warming up that under butt, whereas the fire hydrants were more of our side butt. So I'm just trying to make sure that my butt is all warmed up before this booty workout. And then following that, I always like to do three sets of 15 reps of just body weight squats, just fast, big squeeze at the top, just to make sure again that our quads, everything are warmed up, especially because we got some squats going on in this video, had to make sure everything was properly warmed up. And then following that, I just did what I call side squats. So I just walk um, here, I just go back and forth, but I did 10 walks on each side um, for three sets. Just focus on keeping a slight bend in your knees and pushing that butt back and keeping your chest up to really activate those glutes. Getting into the workout, we're gonna start off with four sets of 12 reps of hip thrusts. So I never start my leg days with hip thrusts. This is something that I usually do as a second or third movement period. So this was definitely different for me and I did not know what to expect. But this was definitely different for me and following this we have squats as our second exercise so I was definitely worried about being too tired for the squats but again four sets of 12 reps for these I went ahead and just upped the weight a little bit as I went ahead and moved these on um, she did not Tammy did not do them on the Smith machine but I prefer to um, just for that extra help and because I needed the Smith machine for our next exercise and I just want to make sure that I had it since my gym only has one smith machine so again four sets of 12 reps for hip thrusts and then moving on to our next workout um she recommended three sets of 12 reps of smith machine squats and she said to do heavy squats so 
What I went ahead and did was I did three sets of 12 reps and I stuck with a medium weight for my squats. Um, my just haven't really been feeling it really with the squats lately. I've been feeling tight in some areas, so I didn't want to over push myself. But I did up the weight a little bit and I just felt that I'm more comfortable sticking with a weight that I knew I could do. Especially, like I said, usually I start off my workouts with squats, so starting off my workout with hip thrust was a little bit different for me so my glutes already definitely felt this and were very activated by the time I got to my end of my first round and second round of squats so if you're not used to doing a movement before your squats I'd recommend doing a medium to heavyweight maybe not so much of a heavyweight right away just to make sure that you are safe and being careful but again three sets of 12 reps for heavy smith machine Smith machine squats. And then our next exercise is going to be side step ups. So my Smith machine, Smith mach machine is not very high and I am tall. So adding a bench underneath, um, I don't have enough room. My head hits the top. So I supplemented this for a dumbbell. So I think I chose 45 pound dumbbell. Um, just something that I knew was sturdy and thick enough that it could handle my weight. So I just placed this off side of my leg and I went ahead and did three sets of 12 reps for these. So 12 reps on each side of side Smith machine squats. Now these don't activate your glutes if you don't think about them. So you definitely have to make sure that you're thinking about your glutes as, this, as you're doing this movement. And while you're doing it, as you're pushing yourself off of the ground, you're focusing on your glutes and squeezing that muscle on the way up. If you don't do that, this is going to be more of a quad hamstring dominant exercise. So again, really just focus on pushing off when you push off your feet to really focus on your glutes and to focus on squeezing your glutes as you're pushing off of the ground. And then moving into our next exercise, we're going to be doing cable pull throughs. So three sets of 12, 12 reps for these. Now I'm not sure if it's just me, but I feel super awkward when I do these and I feel like I can never feel these in my glutes, which is why I never do them. Um, so I started off with a heavy weight and just noticed that I could not do this. It was just awkward and uncomfortable and I felt like I wasn't getting what I needed out of it. So I went ahead and lowered the weight and then just really focused on pushing my butt as far back as I possibly could. As you can see, my toes come up and then just giving my glutes a huge squeeze at the top to make sure that they're activated and that they were doing what they were supposed to be doing in this movement. So again, if you're like me and you can't really feel this mo movement, focus on pushing your butt as far back as possible and then giving it a big squeeze at the top. And the next shoe recommended a different exercise, but I kind of switched up this last order of these last three exercises because my gym was already getting full and I wanted to make sure I had the cable machine for the cable kickbacks. So next I go ahead and I jump into three sets of 12 reps on each leg for cable kickbacks. Now these don't look like they're being done very right. Um, I know a lot of people do these and they keep their chest up and it just makes their butt look good but we're not about our butts looking good here we're about our butts looking good after the workout so my recommendation for these when you do them is to almost be parallel with the machine plus this takes off any pressure off of your lower back um, for me when I do them the other way and keep my chest higher up I do get some pressure in my lower back and it's usually hard for me to finish the exercise so I recommend going almost parallel if not parallel and then picking a light to medium weight so you can really focus on squeezing your glutes at the top so when you're doing these you want to not let your knee go past that other knee and try to stop it right at your knee and not go all the way forward that way you're keeping your glutes under tension the whole time but again, three sets of 12 reps for this exercise. Next, Tammy does these and on a lying hamstring curl. And those definitely target your glutes 100%. I don't have that at my gym, so, so I stuck with a seated hamstring curl. This did not do the job at all, and I felt very disappointed because I felt like I couldn't get the full maximum with this this workout routine even though I pretty much did but again three sets of 12 reps on a lying hamstring curl for our final exercise we're going to be doing three sets of 12 reps for back extensions now you should never understand how these would target your glutes but if you've already done a very glute specific workout and then you focus on that mind to muscle connection and focus on squeezing your glutes this is definitely going to be a glute exercise to finish off by the third set of this i was already shaking so again three sets 12 reps a big glute squeeze at the top for that exercise and then for our final 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 torture movement we're going to be ending with eight minutes of sprints now i never do sprints after leg day because i feel like that always 
I don't know. I'm just not a big fan of it, but I tried it. And if you focus on a glute leg day after doing sprints, in the middle of doing sprints, you will feel your glutes. And so I can see why she recommended this or why she does this in her workouts because your glutes are already activated and they're going. So running is just keeping your glutes under tension the entire time and I definitely felt this in the middle of the run. So what I did was I just started off with an incline warm up. I kept the incline at about eight and then I put the speed at about 2.5 to three, I can't really remember, but that for a minute and then right after that, I jumped into eight minutes of sprints. So now the way the sprints work is you're gonna run for 30 seconds on and 30 seconds off. Now, like you can see in the video, I hop off for that 30 seconds. You just kind of have to grab the sides and make sure you're sturdy enough. But again, you're gonna be doing eight minutes of sprints. So that's 30 seconds on and 30 seconds off. I hope you guys enjoyed this video with me. I hope you enjoyed this workout. I'll link the original video down below. Make sure you're subscribed and follow along for the remainder of these videos and I will talk to you all in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.